Do family law and divorce attorneys for the opposite party stalk and harass their client's opposition if the client pays for it? Some do. If you can imagine an attorney doing something like that, it's probably already been done. But those who do so are outliers, and they are violating both the law and the rules governing fitness to practice and be licensed as a lawyer if and when they do so. If an attorney is actually, actually violating the law or violating the rules governing the practice of law, you are not obligated to suffer it, whether you're the client or the opposing party. Notifying your attorney and bringing the misconduct to the attention of the court, the police, and the bar is not only appropriate, it's your obligation. That stated, one cannot simply and subjectively brand an attorney of being a stalker or of engaging in harassing behavior and thus establish the attorney as a stalker or harasser out of spite. It's common for sore losers to make false accusations of harassment against an opposing party and his or her attorney. Why? Because it's a cheap, relatively, almost certainly, risk-free way to cast aspersions and demonize and neutralize, if the accusations stick to any degree, the opposing party and or his or her attorney. Don't be that guy or that gal. If you think you may feel stalked or harassed, before you start accusing, be honest with yourself and ask whether you're truly being stalked and or harassed or just feeling defeated, hurt, angry, anxious, vindictive, and afraid and wanting to lash out.